everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Discovering Amanda. In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing some pharmacy products that I received in a starter kit to become a beauty influencer with this company. So if you guys are interested in these types of videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and don't forget to thumbs up this video if you guys like it. Um, first of all, I just want to give you guys a little bit of background and information on this company and kind of tell you why I decided to partner with them. So the company started in 2004 by um, a doctor named Dr. C. Tuna. The company was founded in the country, Turkey. Um, it did not launch in the U.S. until 2019. And I picked this company because it was like affordable makeup. So for me, I can't afford... $50 for foundation and a $40 mascara that's just not in my price range so I would never try to sell something to somebody that I myself personally can't afford and can't buy so that was one of the things that drew me in was that they have products that are like medium grade good quality products that are just a little bit more expensive than the drugstore price and I really liked that about this product so it's pretty much available and affordable to just about everybody and that was one of the things that kind of drew me in. The pharmacy products are all paraben and heavy metal free. They're, they are test, they've been tested by a dermatologist. They have no animal ingredients. They're manufactured in a lab environment. They are SLS free, not tested on animals, non-GMO, and endangered plants are not used in all of their products. And another thing that I like is like this is based out of Turkey and the United States tends to add a lot more harmful chemicals to their products um, and that are banned in other countries. So I kind of like that it was from another country because um, that means there's probably there like better ingredients than what the U.S. would put in there is because the U.S. tries to get away with a lot of like bad chemicals in their makeup. So but anyways, let's go ahead and get started with the unboxing. I'm just going to show you guys what I got, show you some swatches and we'll go from there. So the first thing I have here is just some um, pharmacy Scentsy wipes. These are just makeup remover wipes. And then I did get like this starter kit and it just has like a bunch of samples in it. So to give out to people or just for me to just try and let you guys know what I think about some of these um, skincare lines. And then this is Pharmacy Makeup Tender Blush On is what it says. So it's a blush. This is the color. I can't really swatch a blush, you guys. Otherwise, I would show you. But that's the color. And then this is the Rose Dune. It's an eyeshadow palette in the Rose Dune. And I'll quickly show you. I will open it up, show you the colors. Wow, the colors are beautiful, you guys. Look at that. That's definitely some colors I'm interested in for sure. I really like like the sparkly and the nice pinks in there. Next up, we have some translucent setting powder. Um, it comes with this little sponge to apply, and then I'm guessing it's got like a little nutting thing here where the it's really soft where the powder comes out, and you can see that on my finger what it looks like. All right, next up we have the Double Lash Extend Mascara in the color brown. It's just your, this is the volume. It's just like your standard mascara tube. I'll just show you guys. I, don't, I always like to see the wands on mascara, so maybe you guys do too, but that's what the wand looks like. Next up I have a VFX Pro Camera Ready Primer in strobe so this is just like a primer for your before you put on your foundation and everything that's what it looks like 
Next, we have Pharmacy Makeup Face Perfecting Pressed Powder. So we'll open up and see what that looks like here. Comes with a little applicator and then a powder to put on your face with. Okay, next up we have um, the Desert Sands, Sands Eyeshadow Palette. Oh my gosh, you guys. I love this one too. I love neutral colors, but this is beautiful colors in there. And I'm kind of a picky person when it comes to eyeshadows. I don't really like super bright, like bright blues and greens and like really bright pinks and stuff. I like more natural colors. I do like like this rose colored palette we looked at earlier. I think these colors are beautiful, but I like the colors for eyeshadows to be more on the softer side than like super bold. That's just me personally. It's not that I've never done a bold look before. It's just like on a day-to-day -day basis, I do prefer more of a natural look for sure. We have the Pharmacy Ink Liner. And I believe this is in black. Oh, it's in blue. So I'm gonna swatch that. Ooh, wow. See, and I just said I didn't like bold colors, but I like it for eyeliner once in a while. But that, I think that's a really pretty color if you guys can see that. Um, it came on. It was super pigmented, so that's always a good sign. Um, I don't know about you guys, but sometimes you buy eyeliners, and they're just kind of duds, and they're not really bright. Um, but this one seems really like it has a lot of pigment in it, so that's amazing. Next up, I have... An extra last, it's an eye pencil, and I'll swatch it. And you can see the color there. It looks like it's in black. Next up, I have a pharmacy lip plumper to make your lips look bigger. Next up, I have the Pharmacy Stay Matte Mineral Enriched Foundation in the color Natural. Now, I don't know if this color um, matches my skin or not, but I'm going to swatch it and just show you guys what it looks like. Um, so this is what it looks like when it comes out. And I guess I'll have to try and see if it matches and then you guys can see the swatch there. It looks like it might be close. I don't know, I'll have to put it on my face and see maybe. They just send you a random color. They don't let you like pick, which kind of stinks because when you want to try it on and see what it would be like for you, it's hard if it doesn't match, but we'll see. Next, I have the Pharmacy Makeup Time Locker Half for more fun fixer sp spray for all skin types. So this looks like it's like a setting spray for when you're all done putting on your makeup. You just spray it all over your face. Next I have the Pharmacy BB Cream. And this is for light to medium skin so this would definitely work for my skin color. And I do want to mention I do have the CC Cream for this as well. Um, I already have it in my makeup, you guys. I've tried a couple of things already, and I'm actually wearing it right now. I do want to say that I do really like the CC cream. Super excited to try the BB cream. Definitely, um, definitely steps up from drugstore brand for sure, for sure. Like, I feel like when you don't want to wear super, um, like, when you want, like, thick foundation on and you just want, like, light coverage for, like, daytime looks or on a day-to-day um, I feel like the CC or BB creams would be work awesome for anyone. Um, I did really like it. Next up, I have the VFX Camera Ready Primer. So this one's the camera ready, and earlier, remember, we looked at the strobe. So in the following weeks, we're definitely going to take a look at what are the differences, pros and cons, what kind of different looks they create for you guys, all of that stuff for sure. I'm definitely going to be letting you know. We have the Brow Design Eyebrow Mascara in dark brown. So this is to put 
on your eyebrows. Next up, we have the Lash Extend. This is for volume and length mascara. This is the double. I believe this one's in black. That's what the wand looks like. Last but not least, we have the Pharmacy Matte Liquid Lipstick. This is kind of like a, looks like a nude color. I'm gonna swatch it for you guys and see. Ooh, that's a pretty color, I like that. I feel like it looks kind of more pink on camera and it's a little bit more brown. I'm just putting on a little bit just to just to kind of see but I do like the color for sure so that is the end of my pharmacy haul here for you guys um, I am going to be doing some makeup looks for you guys in the following weeks um, to let you guys know and kind of show you how to use it what the products you know what's the difference between them if I like them or not and you guys I'm completely um an honest person if I don't like something I will tell you that's just how I am. I My favorite place to go get different makeup ideas and find out if products are good or not is right here on YouTube. I feel like a lot of the girls on here give out extremely awesome advice. You know, people are totally off. They like something, they tell you. If they don't like something, they let you know. And I'm the same type of person. If I don't like it, I'll definitely let you know. But um, look out for those videos, guys. And if you guys are interested in more videos like this or those videos come out, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. And hit the thumbs up on this video and turn the notification bell on so that you guys don't miss out on any more videos like this. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing video of Pharmacy. And also, I am going to be leaving a link to um, web my Pharmacy website below for you guys. So if you guys are interested in looking further into any of the products or you'd like to um, order anything or you're interested, just go ahead and click on the link below in the description box and it will take you um, right there. But um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.